Hi everybody. Cookie's gonna hang out with us today. <laughs> um, but yeah, hi. Um, today's video is gonna be a little different. Um, I'm gonna be ranting a little bit because I'm just, and I don't know if this is like a common thing um, but a couple of my friends have mentioned it to me that they're just not in a good headspace lately. And I'm not either. I'm just generally not okay. And I can't really pinpoint what's wrong. So today is going to be a little bit of a rant. So I'm sorry in advance. Um, I'm tired. I'm not really sleeping well. Um, not really sleeping the whole way through the night. Um, using a lot of ASMR. Um, getting a lot of headaches. And I've been drinking plenty of water. Um drinking normal amounts of coffee. I, I am starting to um, intermittent fast um, where I'm only eating between the hours of 10 and 7 or like 11 and, and 7. Um, I'm trying to stop before 7. Um, try not to eat after 8. Um, but depending on my work schedule, I'll switch it up um, between the hours. I'm on week 2, so I'm doing pretty good. I'm getting more into a routine with it now. Um, but yeah, generally I just feel off. <laughs> and it's not that I'm unhappy. It's not that I'm sad or angry or upset in at anything in particular. But sorry. Um I just feel off. I just feel not myself. Um there's not really anything specific coming to mind as to why like nothing really happened to trigger it um I slept well last night but that's because I have off today so I don't know <laughs> um one of the things I have to say to everybody because this is something like I said this is just kind of going to be a rant like be kind be respectful and be patient it's honest to god that simple because everyone's going through the same thing like, everyone's tired of quarantine. Everyone is in quarantine together. I'm an essential worker right now, so you can't sit there and tell me, I don't know what it feels like to be home all day because I know what it feels like to be at work all day and wear a mask for eight hours a day and have my rosacea get chapped and have my acne act up and my skin is so dry, but also so oily. Like, I, my skincare routine can't keep up. I can't. So, essential workers, all of us are exhausted, just mentally drained. And it doesn't matter what we do, it doesn't matter what type of job I have, it doesn't matter what type of job the essential worker has. If you're considered essential right now during a quarantine where everybody else isn't considered essential, first off, that's really mentally taxing. It's mentally taxing to sit there and think, wow, somebody needs me, and then for them to be rude to your face about it. It's so unnecessary. Part of me doesn't want to be considered essential anymore just because I don't want to be treated <laughs> the way certain people are treating essential workers right now. Like, we are here for you. Just be grateful for five seconds. Um... I'd also be so bored if I'd stay at home for more than like four days because I'd clean everything in the first two days and then have nothing to do for the next two days and then after that and then so today it's sunny um did some yoga on the porch um just generally enjoying this night's weather it's gotten a little breezier and it's gotten a little chillier um so the sun is kind of sort of still out um it's on my back right now, um, which feels really good, but my front that is in the shade is cold. <laughs> um, hashtag spring in Pennsylvania. Um, you know what, though? I would, I would really enjoy to stay at home and play the Final Fantasy VII remake. <laughs> I haven't played video games in forever, and I'm so excited for this remake. Um, I haven't played... Um, video games in general, let alone Final Fantasy. I think the le the only Final Fantasy I played through 
was two. Two or three. Maybe both. I don't remember. But like that was it. It's been so long. Because I like watching video games more than like on Twitch and stuff like that. Like streaming and things like that um, of gameplay versus or like watching. I mean, I'll just hang out and watch somebody play video games like sit down in the living room and just watch. Because I like I like the storylines of certain games like Skyrim, um, Assassin's Creed, um, some of the Star Wars games. Um, the newest Call of Duty, the one with the Nazi zombies, that was pretty cool. That was sort of fun to watch. Certain certain storylines and stuff like that that they have, they're really fun. Um, and I just enjoy it. Plus then I'm that person that reminds you like, hey, you gotta go do this quest. Oh, go talk to that cat that's lit up. Like, <laughs> that's that's me as the, as the friend who sits there and watches people play, play video games. Um, but... I honestly, I used to play video games to relax and get myself out of my own headspace because especially like I love the Lego games and um, the last Lego one I did was the Lego Harry Potter one. Um, and it's been a while, but I kind of want to go back because it's, it's a way to get out of my own head and just focus on something else because when you have to build stuff, when you have to like do tasks and things like that, that aren't involved in your daily life. Um... I actually feel better now that I've been venting for six and a half minutes because it, venting is a f way to relax for me because um, I can get everything off my chest and I can just scream. I def I've already screamed twice today. Um, doing things that make you feel better because it's your mental health. Like that's, that's what everybody needs right now, whether it's... <sighs> Drinking Moscato and throwing on K-pop and dancing around your living room or even dancing on your porch. Do it. Go for it. I don't care. Um, side note, speaking of dancing um, around the living room, I really want to find a dance practice room um, because I haven't danced in forever. I danced all through school, up until high school, um, and a little bit in college. Um, and I really want to get back to it. It's been a while. And I've got a lot of choreography up here that I just kind of want to get out and see if it works. See if I can still dance at 30. <laughs> it's probably been about, it's been about 10 years since I've done any sort of serious dancing. So it'll be fun to try it again. See if I can do it. <laughs> um... But going back to the things that you used to do or used to love, it's a way to kind of accept and reach out to yourself. Um, and a lot of people, when you look at your mental health journey or you look at your journey with depression, and I looked back at mine a little bit yesterday when I was writing my notes. Um, I remember one time, it was like a few months after after the bad breakup that I mentioned in um, when I told my story a couple weeks ago. Um, my mom... I was doing something around the house, like some mundane chore or task, something at my parents' house um, when I was still living with them. And I was singing while I was doing it. And my mom came in and just kind of stopped in the doorway and was like, you're singing? I was like, yeah? Like, what about it? And I was so confused as to why that was a big deal. And, but people notice, people notice when you stop, when you stop doing things, um, when you stop doing things that are normal for you when you're happy and you don't really think about it. Um, and yeah, they may not notice right away, but they will. Um, they'll realize one random day that you weren't okay and that something was different and that now you're okay. Um... That there was a normal <laughs> and that this is new um and you weren't your usual shelf your usual self shelf put yourself on a shelf don't do that <laughs> um anyway quarantine i want to go see my family and friends i want to go do stuff i want to go out to dinner i want to go celebrate my dad's birthday i want to go celebrate my birthday with my friends um i have so many restaurants and dinners lined up I've, like, as soon as the...
quarantine is lifted fully, I have so many plans. <laughs> like every day off, I know I have plans and I know I'm going to be booked. <laughs> and I'm so, <laughs> so ready. Um... And I, I even just want to be around people that I haven't seen in months. I mean, even old co-workers and people that I used to see on a bi-weekly basis. People that I used to go see just to pop in and see them. I can't do that right now. And it's driving me nuts. Um, but... Yeah. So... I feel better. <laughs> I, but like I said, be kind, be patient, be respectful, take five seconds to be a half decent person to these essential workers, the grocery store, the kids that are working in the grocery store, the kids that are home from college that are suddenly stuck at home and can't even go see their high school friends, can't even go, can't even leave their house because they have to finish classes that they're still doing online. My dad's a professor. Like my dad can't go. Sorry, my video froze for a second. My dad can't go do normal stuff because he's a professor. Like, he still has class. He still has to do his lesson plans, and he still has to perform class on Zoom. So, like, all you college kids that are whining and moaning, I had to censor myself there, whining and moaning about needing to do class, like, my dad's in the same boat. Okay? So take five seconds and say thank you at the end of your classes. Take five seconds and send them an email because today is Teacher Appreciation Day and there's a lot of teachers out there that are home with their own kids or by themselves or with their families that are not working and haven't been working and they don't know when they're going back to work. Just say thank you. Take five seconds and say thank you today. Not that you shouldn't say thank you every day because you should, but look people in the eyes and say thank you for being here. Thank you. Two words. That's all we want to hear. Don't give me attitude. Because I don't make up the prices for anything. I'm not the one that dictates that. I'm just there doing my job. Don't... <sighs> just say thank you. That's all we want to hear. Be grateful for five seconds that your world is still turning because of us. Anyway. I'm going to go back to my to-do list. Um, it's almost done. Um, and it's only... Oh, it is 5.30. When the sun's still up in the sky, I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> until it starts to set and I'm like, oh, I should probably check the clock. But, so, sun is shining. Um, like I said, I did some yoga on the porch, um, but this is also a chance for me to get some color on my legs um, so that uh, they don't glow in the dark. <laughs> um, but you know what, take, take time to vent today for those essential workers, for those bank workers, for those grocery store clerks for the kids in the checkout line, for the people at pharmacies, um, hospital workers, whatever. Take time to vent today. Go scream in your car. But remember, cars aren't soundproof. Just letting you out there. <laughs> My uh, soft top Jeep Wrangler is definitely not soundproof. <laughs> um, call somebody. Go for a walk. Um, stomp in the mud a little bit. It rained here yesterday, so go for it. Um, break sticks. Don't hurt yourself, though. Um, chop wood, I don't know. Do something that you can put a little power into. Um, be gentle about it. Obviously, you don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to, like, s stretch your legs and pull something. <laughs> um, let yourself be mad and frustrated today. Let it out. Um, don't try to be, be brave or strong. Don't try to stay quiet. Um... That's one of the things that I'm learning about myself in this situation um, during quarantine, but also being able to do this channel, um, being able to hold myself accountable and being able to be honest, 
not having to be brave, not having to keep quiet, not having to just sit here, be the strong, silent type. Um, go do stuff that makes you happy. Go vent. Don't stay quiet. Call somebody and preface the phone call as saying that you're venting and that you're just getting stuff off your chest and that you just want them to listen. Um, but yeah, you're allowed to break down a little from time to time. You're not porcelain. Um, everything in life needs a reboot and, a, and an upgrade and a refresh. So thank you for today. Thank you for letting me vent. Um, I feel a little better. I'm really hoping that I'll get back on track emotionally and in a good headspace um, in a couple days. Should be okay. I'll bounce back. It's fine. Um, but yeah, enjoy your day today. Enjoy the weather if you have nice weather. Um, yeah. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. See you next time.